goal of AMI Kids is to give kids a second chance and to give them tools and skills that will help them be successful. If you don't spend time and resources on helping kids at an early age, your issues and problems that are gonna result down the road will increase. You'll have more kids committing offenses and they'll end up in jail. When AMI Kids came into Louisiana, we were offering something different from just juvenile detention. This idea of, you know, these are bad kids, they need boot camp. That is just not a productive way to deal with kids. When the kids come to us, we deal with them all as individuals. We don't just generalize treatment for each kid. You know, what we do is we assess them in areas of treatment, uh, behavior modification, and education, and we see what they're deficient at. And what we do is we draw up a treatment plan from the beginning with input from the families, uh, the probation officers, and most importantly, the kid. The staff here help you, you know, times when I just felt like I just wanted to give up. They came talk to me and they helped me a lot. And then the time they'll see me like falling down, they'll tell me what I got to lose and like they'll be there for me. I've been here four months and I got my, I'm on chief rank and one more rank, I've completed the program and it's really a six month program. If you take our kids and you really look into uh, the hand they've been dealt, so to speak, from the beginning, they have to overcome adversity from the start. I got to know one kid. He had earned a home pass. He had been doing great, and he was scheduled to go home for the weekend. Nobody was there for him to go home to. He told a teacher, he said, you know what, this cycle is stopping with me. He said, I have a daughter. I'm not going to let this happened to her, and I am dedicated to changing my life. I see that I have a, I have a brighter path. I, I, I have more opportunities that I, I would have never had if I had just kept doing what I was doing. Now I see myself being a game warden, being a police officer, possibly, hopefully, playing for the NFL one day. I mean, I, these are all doors that are open that were never open before, would have never been open if I'd have never came here. If we point them in the right direction, uh, make them understand how important education is, and help them understand uh, that with, without discipline, you're not going to be successful. I really changed my viewpoint on a lot of things in my life. The number one of those things would be self-discipline and self-respect and respect of others. I really feel like this is going to change my life in the most positive way. We rely on uh, folks getting involved in our, in our organization and being interested in these kids. Any kind of financial donations that um, they can give will help us. We're planning to build a building for our vocational education programs and we're trying to raise money for that now. There's always other types of equipment that are are necessary. Right now we have a shortage of vehicles. If we had ample financial resources, we would be able to deal with some of those shortfalls. We're not just changing one life at a time, but we're sending ripple effects throughout families and throughout communities to actually change, you know, our world. And that's how it's done, you know, one kid at a time.